Hi, it's Andy Gilman from Washington. There are two crises that are swirling around the nation's capital this week. One is the swine flu, the second is the Chrysler bankruptcy. What they share in common is the 22nd letter of the alphabet, which is the letter V. In fact, in a crisis, there are three Vs that are operating. First is the victim, second is the villain, and third is the vindicator. With swine flu, the victim, or victims, unfortunately, are those who have contracted the disease. The villain is the bug itself, and the vindicator will either be the flu shots, or the antidotes, or the CDC, or the Mexican government, all who are working real hard to solve the problem. With the Chrysler bankruptcy, the victims are those who might own Chrysler products, might be the taxpayer that's helping to bail out the company. The villains are the hedge funds right now because the Obama administration has put them and the Chrysler management in that box. And the vindicators right now are the U.S. taxpayers, the government, fiat. What the problem will be for the hedge funds, if they want to get out of that villain box, will be not to snipe back each time, because that fuels the media interest to have a fight between vindicator and villain. Over time, the hedge funds, or those who actually own a lot of the Chrysler debt and equity, will be to prove that their investments are real, and they're working together to solve the problem. These crises come and go in Washington, but you have to understand the three Vs.